Hi everyone. Very good morning for everyone. Today our topic is how to perform Apache JMeter non-JM mode distributed load testing or remote load testing. Okay, how you need to perform this one. And whenever you need to perform to the non-JM mode distributed load testing, okay, there is some prerequisites before and configurations. Okay, E required. That is never mentioned. Apache JMeter distributed load testing or remote load testing prerequisites. Okay. Okay, the prerequisites is the same version of Java 1.8 or above. Otherwise, you can take any version for same version only. Example, you are using multiple missions, right? Um, in in our distributed load testing point of view, you have a one master mission. One second. Okay. Example one master mission. One master mission. Okay. One master mission and the slave missions. Example I will take five slave missions. Remember, slave missions means it's a load generators. Okay, master mission also you need to take it's a load generator. But whenever you get once completed all the tests, right? All the test results you need to come to the master mission. That reason you can call to the master mission. One is the master mission, remaining slave missions. Okay, slave missions. Otherwise you can call it load generators. load generators okay now uh, whenever you need to run the load right first of all you need to talking about the script point of view okay now your systems first of all this is the master mission only one master mission total five slave missions are load generators <coughs> in all the missions first of all same version of java I will preference mostly Java 8. Why I need to select Java 1.8, right? Uh, in JMeter point of view, whenever you need to run the load um, distributed load testing, all type of issues will be supported. Otherwise, uh, based on your system, higher version of 1.8 also you need to use. Just my preference, only 1.8, Java 1.8. Okay, only same version only, it's available all missions. Five slave, one master. In total six missions. You need the same version of Java. Okay, okay. First one. Maybe some people you don't know right how we need to download and install. Just one minute. I will show you that one also. You can go to the Google. You can just you can download the Java. You can type it. Okay. First one only. Download Java for Windows. okay yeah you can see download the java for windows right you can directly you can download it okay once you need to download the java 1.8 jdk okay once you download it right you can extract the file okay everyone you know right you can select the java file and just right click and extract the file and you can provide the location that file you will extract it you will get the java jdk once you will get the java jdk uh, you can go to the search bar example uh, i have already available i will show you that one where it's available in my system you can go to the my pc okay i have already it's available program files you can see java jdk and go to the bin yeah this is the java file okay once you need to extract the, the java file just double click it he will start the installation process you just you can click on next next only the file is installed okay once installation will completed you also you able to get your c uh, your c drive program file java jdk bin directory java is installed 
otherwise you will provide installation from any different location yeah that place also in install but most of the people will be preferred only c drive only okay once the installation process is completed what you need to do right first one you can copy to the until bin directory of the jdk path okay until bin directory okay first to bin directory second one it's not required same until jdk one now what you need to do right now you can go to the search bar type the enrollment one second this is the enrollment variables in enrollment variable you need to select the advanced and select the enrollment variable under there are two for two terms right one is user variables for hp one is system variable you can go to the system variable you can just you can drop down that one you can select the path windows 10 okay windows 7 also it's same only path just click on actually i am already added right you also you need to add this one just click on edit i am already added you can see c program files java jdk 1.8.0 2022 and bin okay just you need to click on new and you can add the path the jdk path you can see this path you need to add okay this path you need to add okay once you can add the path okay you just you can click on ok and close it now second one second one means what you need to do right just you need to click on new but i am already added right that reason what i need to do you need to the new first time you were using this one you can click on new only and go to up i will show you that one yeah you can see java home right in java home just in your point of view first time you need to create click on new and you can give the details i'm already created it just click on edit in variable name you need to give capital letter java underscore home and you can variable value you need to provide until jdk path you need to provide see program file java jdk once the path is provided right it's completed now okay just you can click on ok and close it everything okay and restart your mission okay once you restarted right everything setup is done and you can open to the your command prompt okay now you need to type the java space iphone version just click on enter automatically will show to the java version 1.8 okay in same way all the missions okay java one java version 1.8 right the same way you need to do all the six missions example this is your uh, single mission i am currently doing but whenever you need to run to the in real time in office systems right the project related you need to check to the everything every system you need to log in and you need to check is the same version of java is installed or not same version of java is available it's no issue any different yeah you need to raise the separate snow request means i'm not sure based on every company every project it's a different type of uh, you need to ticket raising tools is different most of the projects i will do uh, i will see the service now service now tool is available customized one you need to raise otherwise every project any different tools also you need to use it right our in in build will develop okay that tools also you need to you need to learn how you need to raise the tickets um based on uh, which one you need to select what is the version and which software you need to install you can install it install means you do not have any access you can raise the jira ticket yes admin team will remove to the old one and the new uh, your preferred version will be installed okay once java you can set up 1.8 for all systems same version of java you need to install first one is completed second one this is sometime you have access sometime you do not have access okay you need to install same version of jmeter same version of jmeter all load generators okay all load generators you need to install same version of jmeter install means there is no installation at jmeter point of view 
just you need to copy and paste same version of JMeter all machines. Okay, some systems or some load generator or VMs you do not have access. You need to raise the separate ticket. Okay, just copy paste to the our JMeter software. You can provide our location path, right? He will copy and paste it. Once that one also will complete it, the same version of JMeter is uh, installed in your all systems. Now, last one. All load generators are same network and same port. Okay, port is uh, by optional, but network is same. Okay, this one only admin team only able to do. You you do not have access. You have you have knowledge also. You are not able to do right anything. He did not provide any access as to, as for testing team. What you need to do right? You need to raise a request. All the load generator missions, IP address you need to mention and host names, all the details you need to clearly mention and raise the separate Jira ticket. Any network, okay. Most of the time, he will raise uh, separate deals available, network routes, okay. The project related, which network is available, the same network he will mention, okay. Once the same network will be set up, that part also will complete, right. Port means, port means, uh, the port also same network only, same network means whenever you set up to the load generator in same network, the network it called it's a port, okay, network also called example, uh, you will mention 1099, it's a network, network port, the port means there is a route, that route only it's available all the load generators in same network or same port, it's same. Okay, this step also will completed. Now you need to perform to the, the distributed load, right? You have one master mission. Okay, this is the master mission. You can call it one mission is master. Um, okay, five load generators. Must and should you need to access to the master mission, you have a admin rights. The reason uh, some back end log files. Whenever you run the test, right? Uh, it's a longer duration test or use heavy user load. There is so many files, uh, back and logs will be generated. Okay. Once complete, that you keep on running the test, right? That back and keep on files will be generated and system will be slow and hang, and it's not able to run sometime also. That is, an every time you need to cleaning purpose, you have admin rights. You do not have admin rights. You are not able to open also. You will directly will show to the. You do not have access. Otherwise, you will ask the admin uh, username and password. That reason, one mission you need admin rights. Remaining missions, just you need access. That is enough. Access means you need to log in uh, one tester. What is the permissions? General read permissions you have right. That permissions it is enough. Okay. These two steps also you need to complete. Third one is a test data. Sorry. Scripts. Scripts means it's a test plan in JMeter card. In test plan, whenever you mention to the master mission, master mission, when whenever you mention to the test script, okay, the same test plan, test plan only test script, the master mission, what is the test plan you configured user load and way of running. Um, means a ramp up, ramp down, and how much long duration the test is running, all the details you already set up, right? Once the, you completed this setup, the same test plan, all load generators will be injected. Same test plan, no need to mention, but one thing, test data is different. Test data must and should all missions, same location, same test data you need to must and should you, you need to mention. But test plan only master mission only you need to set up to the uh, test plan. The script everything you need to set up to the test plan only. Master mission only you need to mention. Remaining load generators you will access to the two master only. Okay. Uh, no need to copy to the, all the systems. Okay. That is the first one. After the configuration details now now only I will explain. Just a minute. Now I need to open to the one second, I will open this one. Okay. 
is the test plan right i will open my test plan JMIT scripts. Uh, yeah, this is my script web to underscore script dot JMX. Okay, I will open. This is the flow web to application launch URL login click fight find fight click payment logout. This is general flows. Okay. In this is web tool internal application, right? I need to open to the my server also. Second. There is my server web tool 1.0 web tools. This is my server. Yes. Now the server also you need to open, right? You can see starting the web tools Apache server. Press Ctrl C and close the window or to exit. Okay. Now web to server is executing ready. Now you need to do the configuration. Configuration means you need to give the user load. Okay, I will give the number of users 10. I will give the number of users 10 users. Ramp up period 100 seconds means every 10 seconds one user will be moving to the running state. Infinity specified thread time I will give into the total duration of the seconds 600 means total 10 minutes you need to run the test now i need to save the test plan okay test plan now you need to save right now the test plan what will be happen right the same test plan same users will reflect to the all the load generators okay and how you need to reflect right just a minute i will take show you that one also it's very simple This is the first one is the master mission. Okay, this is the master mission. Now master mission you given to the 10 users. Okay, you can note this point master mission 10 users. Okay, this is second one. Otherwise you will do one thing. This is S1, S2, S3, S4, S5. This is M1. Now what you need to do right, you can clear it. M1, you will give the and users yes one also will trigger 10 users okay yes one 
is to 10 users. ES3, 10 users. ES4, 10 users. ES5, 10 users. Okay. <coughs> now you need to see the test script you will give into the in your master system. In master version, you will give the test plan. What is the configuration you will turn? All the scripts, same script will reflect it to the all the load generators also. But users not that way. <coughs> users, what will be happen, right? You will give the master mission 10 users. Same 10 users will reflect to the S1, S2, S3, S4, S5. Means your 10 users plus 10, plus 10, plus 10, plus 10, plus 10. Total how much? 60 users will be reflected. Okay, now you generated 60 user load. Okay, this is the way the distributed load testing will be executed. That reason, example, you need to run to the 6000 users. Okay, you need to execute the 6000 users. One master mission, five load generators. That time, you need to give the in master mission 1000 users. Every system 1000, right? Total six systems. Total 6000 user load will be generated. That is the way only you need to give the load. Before you need to give and run the load, right? You need to check this all the details also. This is also one of the uh, important point. Okay. This is the way user load will be executed. You need to check before. Okay. Another one. Okay, until this point also will complete it, right? Okay. Now, you need to do the, the configuration. Okay, now you need to do the configuration setup. How you need to do, right? Before starting the, our real testing, you can see, you can go to your bin folder, there is a, some important files okay you need to check before whenever you run to the this type of uh, distributed load test, test load testing there is a, some key files you need to check you can see there is a apache jmeter temporary root ca certificate okay a must and should it's a need to valid okay Otherwise, it's expire right. What you need to do? How you need to get the valid certificate within seven days? Okay. Example: This is expired. This is not expired. This is expired. Example: What you need to do? First of all, you need to delete this one. What you need to do? You need to delete Apache JMeter temporary root CA certificate. You need to delete. And another one, you can go down. You can see another file called proxy server. What is this one? Proxy server. One is temporary root CA certificate. Second one, proxy server dot JKS. Proxy server dot JKS file also you need to delete. Once both you need to delete it and you need to come back. Just you can run any one test. Just one second or one minute also just you can run any one test okay once you need to run right otherwise you will do simply just you can restart the jmeter also once you restart the jmeter you are able to generate that files the temporary root say certificate otherwise processor dot jks file maybe it did not generate it just you can run one minute any one test automatically 100% will generate it both processor dot jks file and the temporary root CA certificate for JMeter. Okay, this is first one. This one will complete it after second one. You need to configure some files before. First one, JMeter dot properties. You can see there is a file called JMeter. 
J meter very important. Okay, J meter properties file. J meter properties file, right? Just you can open this file. Okay, expand it. Just you can search remote host. Okay, I'm already mentioned that one remote host. Just you can search. You can find it, right? You can see this is one of the important file. Important file means you need to configure this one first. Remote host and RMI configuration. RMI means remote method invocation. You need to run the distributed uh, distribute the load uh, distribute the load to multiple patients, right? The remote method invocation method user to you need to configure and run the test. How you need to run, right? Whenever you coming to this point of this place, by default available this three only. Okay, remote host comma delimited. It's clearly mentioned comma delimited. Okay, remote host by a default available 127.0.0.1. This is by default available. And the JMeter post also you can see remote host, local host, and port number is 1099. This is the JMeter by default port 1099. Okay, how you need to configure right multiple missions? You can simply you can copy this one. You can remove to the port. Okay, there is no need to anyone is never question. IP address also it's enough. Okay, I will tell you what you need to do. Otherwise, first method you can copy to the remote underscore host is equal. You can give it to the your IP address. IP address comma. You can mention IP address first comma. Second IP address, comma, third IP address, comma, five IP address. That that way, how many load generators you have within the comma you can mention. IP address, comma, IP address, comma, that way you can mention. Example, I will take this part right. I will show you that one. Okay. How you need to generate this one? Last one. Example, this is the master one, right? Given the comma, you can mention. Example, second mission, comma, you can give in. Okay, this is the way you need to give. Okay, this is the way you need to give to the your uh, how many systems you have. You can within the comma, 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 you can give the systems. Your system IP address, okay, you need to give. And another one, in same file only, another one, you can see, remote host is equal to local host colon 1099. 1099 means, it's a by default port. Otherwise, you need to require and you already all the systems in same same network only. Otherwise, it's any different different network also it's available means the systems that that type of situation resolving purpose only you need to do all the systems same network okay you will face any issue for any port level something your test running time non joy mode something issue will be created right something port related issues you need to gain that time what you need to do uh, yeah you can first of all you need to collect the all the ports also Okay, port related deals, details first you need to collect and coming to the same remote host place only, how you need to update right that one. You can see 192.168.137.1, you can see, example, I will mention any different different ports right, 1091. One zero double eight within the column. Third one. One zero double seven. One zero double four. Okay, this is the way you need to provide. This is the our uh, mission IP address. This is the port. Any different ports? Otherwise, same port also you need to give. You can provide based on the ports. Okay. Once this way you need to give right. There is no nothing issue. You can see, but coming our situation, 
in my system it's only one machine right that reason i will give into the only remote host is equal to 192.168.137.1 this is only one machine ip address only i will give it and save them otherwise still any port related issue still it not resolved you will give the port but still it's not resolved right what you need to do right just you can go down there is a one option is available i will show you that one also you can see this is the method remote rmi okay you can see set this if you do not want to use ssl for rmi maybe you were using for the port but something your issue you need to face something error you need to come whenever you start the start the test you will show the error and i am not able to run that is port related what that time what you need to do right you can see server.rmi.ssl.disable is equal to false you mentioned right same i mentioned same one server.rmi.ssl.disable is equal to true the port related one you need to disable just you can remove this ash okay just whenever you remove this one right this one is enabled that time server rmi ssl disabled is true you are not able to face any uh, port related issues whenever you need to enable this one just you can delete to the this uh, ash symbol only that time it's enable this condition okay that way also you need to resolve that your issues especially port related after you can see uh, this is also one of the important point configuration of secure rmi connection secure rmi connection means this one you need to generate okay how you need to generate the, that the details i will provide it to you but generally you can learn this one configuration of secure rmi connection rmi means remote method invocation type of key store is dot jks file dot jks file uh, you will mention in coding level server dot rmi dot ssl dot key store dot type is called jks after key store file that contain private key private key means it's a access type of, uh, means how license key will be work right same way server rmi ssl key store file is equal to rmi key store dot jks you can see the name only clearly mentioned rmi underscore key store dot jks you will face your running test running time uh, any issue for related to rmi key store error rmi key store error that time this method will be used i will explain that one also password of key store server rmi ssl key store password change it this is only password okay uh, remaining details are it's same only but you can see key alias is server rmi ssl key store alias rmi means the key store name is rmi the key store name is rmi type of trust store jks the file is jks file only server rmi ssl trust store the type is called jks okay after key store file that contains certificate okay server rmi ssl trust store file rmi key store the jks the file the jks file only it will provide the access and certificate also it will allow that one okay last one password of trust store this one also change it it's already come that one right same server rmi ssl trust store password is good change it this password is change it okay now how you need to generate it right rmi key store dot jks file i will i will tell you this one first of all what are the changes you done just you can save them after only you can close okay now i will close that point also it's completed now you can go to the your jmeter yeah you can go to the jmeter you can search to the this is the file 
okay create rmi key store you can see create rmi create rmi key store create rmi key store window batch file this is a bad file create rmi key store bad file sorry create rmi key store dot bad file okay just double click actually it's closing right i am already created that reason it's not opening but what are the steps it's available i will i will show you that one um jmeter remote testing yeah so first one only you can go to the jmeter user manual right the user manual only will mention what are the steps it's available yes you coming the correct place okay whenever you click on to the create rmi key store right create rmi key store the window file will be open you know means the command prompt will be open he will asking some questions okay the question is this one example this is everything linux based we will mention he will open to the create rmi key store dot sh but our required dot bad create rmi key store dot sh whenever you click on create rmi key store dot bat or batch file you will double click will open the command prompt and you will ask the first one what is your first and last name you need to give the rmi okay that is the name called rmi after what is the name of your organization unit you can give any one name i will given to the dutch bank what is the name of your organization that one also same dutch bank only what is the name of your city of locality okay berlin what is the name of your state or province same berlin also state berlin also same city and state both are same what is the two letter of country code for this unit you can give any one letters i will give to the br otherwise you need to give the country code gr my point of view gr means it's a german after this is the one type of letter will be generated you can give s yes. after copy the generator rmi key store dot jks to jmeter bin folder to reference it property okay in the property server rmi key store dot file okay the key store dot file will be came right and whenever you type yes whenever you type below you will ask the the password password means rmi key store dot configuration password will ask you can just you can type the change it okay that one also it's already mentioned i will show you that one just a minute yeah you can see you can just you can mention change it that is enough okay whenever you can type the the password related one last step change it once change it will type click on enter it succeeded yeah it will close the window otherwise success that's all it's no more anything will came once the step also it completed right you can go down you can see rmi underscore key store dot jks rmi underscore key store rmi underscore key store dot jks jks file will be created whenever you download the jmeter right that time it's not available rmi key store dot jks file but you need to create only this one will be created okay uh, whenever you run to the distributed node right you will face any key store dot jks file issues you uh, will show to be in error also are my key store issues okay once you do this one the issue also will resolved okay after another one user files and system files you can go to the system dot properties okay system dot properties 
it's not a big files it's very small just i will show you anything you need to require anything changes or anything okay there is nothing else for system dot properties file another one user dot properties you can see user and properties file Yeah, you can see distributed testing configuration distributed testing configuration okay type of key store jks same i am already explained right same files only you can see the server rmi ssl key store password is equal to change it the password you need to give the change it only there is nothing else remaining okay remaining also same only you will provide it you can see whenever you face any port related issues or rmi uh, jk file issues you can see server dot rmi dot ssl dot disable is equal you can mention false you can false you can give it's automatically it's a disable that condition but you need to remove this hash that time only it's enabled okay based on that one you need to give you can go to the jmeter dot properties file user dot properties file and system dot properties file this is final one user dot properties file you need to set that is also you will face any issues only you did not face any issues just you do not touch anything after you need to save and you need to close you can go to the document system dot properties file okay this setup also will complete it now moving to another one Okay, now I will tell you whenever you run into the this distributed load also mainly you need to come into non GUI mode distributed load testing whenever you run to the GUI mode right what are the metrics the listeners will consume to the more memory that reason only you need to come into non GUI mode with less memory consumption and you need to run to the test okay that is the intention and that is non GMO. mode distributed level means whenever your hardware configuration is not able to support it you need to run that much of heavy load and you need to take the multiple missions and you need to perform the test that time you need to use the non GMO mode and distributed mode level testing okay that time whenever you're running the time you will face any out of memory error Okay, you will show it directly Java related. Okay, Java related out of memory error. Okay, error and you will stop the test. It's not running anything. That time what you need to do, right? You need to increase the heap size. Okay, how we need to use? You need to increase the heap size. Okay, how we need to increase that one? First of all, um, yeah, you can go to the your system click on to the most of the people window 10 computer i will explain linux my next video i will provide at that one also how we need to do and check everything and one more thing okay first you need to complete this one okay how you need to check the first of all system configuration right you can go to the your pc okay in your pc just you need to right click go to the properties
you can see it's a clearly mentioned about to the device specification okay device specification you can see i have around 4 gb of ram 4 gb means you are able to use until 3 gb you are able to use otherwise okay means you need way of test checking i have only 4 gb but in your system it's a very high level gb right example your system is around 8 gb ram 8 sorry 8 gb ram now i need to allocate it to the 4 gb okay 8 gb ram you system available i need to allocate 4 gb ram to in heap size how you need to increase okay 1024 mb 1024 mb called it's a 1 gb 1024 mb called 1 gb same way you need to multiply that one 4 gb okay 4 gb means 4 0 one second you can calculate that is only better Okay, 1024 into 4, 4096, right. Okay, 4096 MB called, it's a 4G. Okay, this is the way you need to give into the minimum and maximum. Minimum 1GB, maximum 4096 means 4GB need to use. How you need to increase, right? Uh, you can go to the your jmeter there is a file called jmeter.window batch file okay not properties file okay you do not think not properties uh, you can go to the jmeter window batch file jmeter window batch file jmeter window batch file just you need to right click click on edit Can check to the heap size only. Yeah, now we need to see this is the heap size. You can type the heap and you can change it. You have any doubt about that one? Some people previous versions is a different format, right? You can check slowly. This is not a big file. You can slowly you can move and you can check to the heap size point of view. okay now it's completed you can see the path this is the path only you can see okay heap size optional jvm memory settings jvm memory settings used when start jmeter default to this is not a default i am already set up this one you can see xms means it's a minimum xmx means it's maximum i will given uh, you can directly given to the 1024 okay how you need to give in your uh, config file right example uh, one second i will open this file right you can copy this one you can mention to the new file you can copy to the minimum 1 gb and uh, how much is the maximum okay now we need to see 
the XMS minimum 1024 1GB, XMX4096 around 4GB of memory you are limited. Max meta space size, this is 256 MB, this is you can leave it, but this is only its mini minimum and maximum only its the main components. Otherwise, you need to change any other ways. Okay. You no need to give this all the things. Just you can directly can mention 1 GB. 4 GB, that is enough. Still you not required this way also. Small g. Just you can type small g. Okay. This is the way also you can set up. There is no issue. 1 G, 4 G. This is also 1 GB to 4 GB. Okay, but this is I will set up only 1 GB. My system only 4 GB, right? That reason 1 GB I will allocate it to the JVM memory. Okay, this is the way one you need to set up. And once your setup is done, just you can save the file. Once you need to save the file, right? And you can close. Okay, now it's almost. Uh, what are the JMeter distributed mode related testing everything all the configurations now completed okay now what you need to do right and one other important point I am not explained okay whenever you finding the, this remote host right how we need to find out the check to the your system IP address right you need to do yeah First of all, you need to open the command prompt for any location. There is not a problem. You can type the IP config. Okay. In window computers, window computers, you can type the IP config, but uh, Linux and Mac computers, you can type the IF config. Instead of P, you can type the F. IF config, Mac computers, IP config, it's window computers. You can see IP config. This is my IP address. You can see IPv4 address, right? You can see this is my IP address. Okay, IPv4 address. Just a minute, I will mention this point also. Window OS IP config Linux or Mac OS. IF config okay you need to find the IP address and you can provide okay all the systems IP address you can collect and you can provide it to the distributed test okay now that one also is completed now we need to go to the where is your script okay this is the script I will give to the 10 users ramp up 100 every 10 seconds one user will move to the running state infinity you can see 10 users 100 ramp up second infinity specify thread length 610 minutes i will give it. you can see this is my internal mission you need to remember this point this is it's my single mission whenever you run to the before test you need to collect some details okay the details i will provide it to you okay okay this currently the test is running only 10 users only it's not running more than okay uh, you can go to the in your j meter where it's available j meter script you can see e colon j meter script under available web tour underscore script dot jmx One second. Okay, you can remove that one. You can see e colon j meter scripts e colon j meter scripts slash web tour script dot jmx. Okay, I am already activated, right? Web tour server also it's already activated. And the second one JTL load test 2.jtl. There is any file before you can do go and check that one. 
they do not have any files okay but i will give an i will provide remote load testing remote load testing dot jtl you can see e folder in J uh, html also i am already provided you can before see there is no any data right whenever any data is available it's throw the error okay okay now you need to proceed into the uh, running the test but before you need to start the test you need to remember this is remote testing okay this is not for non j mode testing this is distributed mode load testing distributed mode load testing what you need to do right every system means you have around how many systems one master mission remaining all slave missions right you can go to you can see what are the settings currently i have done you need to done distributed load testing point of view you can go to the all systems not only master mission all master and slave missions all missions you need to log in and you need to do the all the configuration in same way anything you will miss you will throw the error otherwise the specific system you did not run the test after before starting your non joy mode distributed load testing every source i means every system master and slave missions you can go to the bin folder you can find the there is a one file called jmeter server dot bat some systems some versions of jmeter is available jmeter server dot bat some versions jmeter server there is a window batch file anything both are same only batch file or bat file both are same just you need to run you can see it started right just wait one minute you need to coming to the everything control point of view it's very important if all missions uh, means your master and slave missions every mission you need to open okay before starting your non j mode test you need to open okay first one you can see this is my ip address 192.168.137.1 and it will mention to the port uh, network is different that is a colon colon 13693 this is the port means uh, one is ip address one is port and my host also so you can see my host my name only mitpali gauri shankar or ip address will provide it now everything it's running you same way only your master mission and all your slave missions remember all your slave missions you need to open jmeter server jmeter server you need to open and everything you need to coming this way you can see created remote object okay created remote object okay created remote object once you need to generate it this type of file this type of one you need to generate it's running it's a currently ready state from server you need to proceed to the uh, distributed testing okay you need to run all the systems okay this step also you need to complete it right this is called jmeter server you can mention okay jmeter server also you need to open now this step also will complete now what you need to do right yeah you can go to your command prompt this is very important now you need to go to the your bin folder right now it's a c folder now i am going to e folder e colon cd space okay this is the path you need to take okay same path i am already mentioned this place okay no need to take this one uh, this one you can just take it you can copy e apache jmeter 5.4.1 apache jmeter 5.4.1 and pin just you can give in this one first e colon after cd space e path okay it's also done yeah after this is my sorry i need to update some files yeah 
you can go to the path right just a minute i will open my brightness okay you can see guys this is one of the very important point first of all j meter iphon n iphon t path of the jmx iphon l path of the jtl or csv iphon e iphon v iphon o iphon e iphon o path of the html iphon capital or remember capital or means distributed load testing distributed load testing or remote load testing okay remote load testing called capital r you need to give capital r means i means iphone capital r means you need to run this is uh, you need to run the load test in your current mission this is the master mission i am running right this is the master mission and remaining slave missions also you need to run the test that reason you can called um, you can give the capital r and you need to provide the i will given only one ip address it's my system ip address you can give uh, ip address comma second ip address comma third ip address comma fourth one same how many ip address you require you can provide another way ip address colon port number comma after ip address colon port number comma at the same port number or different port numbers based on uh, your system what is the port number it's available you need to provide that way also you need to run but current one is my local machine right i will give only one another one that is the first way and the second way you can give the iphone small r small r means you need to run the distributed load in your local machine only you need to run local machine only server under test you need to run that time you need to give the small r but our test point of i will directly given to the capital r only okay you can see iphone n means non j mode iphone t means location of the test script iphone l location of the jtl or csv test results iphone e iphone o means a path of the html file iphone r means remote testing and you provide the ip address i will give the single ip address okay now i need to start you can remember this is only one system that is in 10 users 10 minutes only i will given you will run the test but in your mission you need to multiple systems right i will give the 10 users Uh, you have another five load generators. Total ten, ten, ten. Total sixty users. You need to run ten into six. Ten into six, right? Total six systems. Sixty users run. That based you need to calculate and you need to mention to the user load. Okay. Now I will start the test. Yeah, you can see. Whenever you run to the only instead of this one, except iPhone or the IP address, you are not required. Only non-J mode you need to run right directly. You can show to the created the tree successfully and path script and test will be started. But whenever you do iPhone R means it will showing. You can see this is one of the important point. Configuring the remote engine. Configuring remote engine one ninety two dot one sixty eight one thirty seven dot one. Example, you give remaining five IP address also, right? You can keep on coming. Configuration remote engine IP address, IP address, IP address. Every one configuration remote engine IP address you need to keep. That many systems currently is running. That way the test is working. Okay, just the difference between non-J mode and distributed remote testing. The difference. Okay, just you can hold on. Uh, remaining ten minutes, the test is completed. I will. Close shortly. It's already takes a long time. Uh, means why I need to explain this all the things right? Whenever I will try to first time I am trying to jam it or you need to distribute a load testing right? I will face a lot of issues. Uh, same things I will explain. Whenever you do that uh, tricks right, you can easily need to solve and you can complete your test. Just you can wait remaining nine minutes. We'll complete the test. Okay. Whenever you need to start the test, right? You can go to the your remote machine. Very important one. You can see this is our remote machine, right? You can see is showing starting the test. Starting the test on host IP address will provided and start time also will be mentioned IST. And you can check to the all the systems the starting mentioned. 
completed also will show into the ending okay now it started right it is running state that is a started only it's available okay just you can wait some time it will complete You can see some there is error percentage you do not consider this one um, the reason this is the laptop application right it's a it's a local server sometimes it's not responded but just I will show you how we need to distribute a mode you need to run the test
just you can wait the remaining one minute it's a final stage yeah it's completed now you can see tidying up remote okay once you need to come to the final one ending right it's completed final most of the people you don't know you know right this is the time duration you can see exact the time uh, 37 okay it's not a problem 13 13 7 12 means 37 minutes now 47 okay total minutes is 37 40 total 10 minutes the test is executed this is the throughput this is average response time minimum and maximum error percentage active started finish now you can see it's finished it's also tidying up remote and enter now you can go to the remote server you can see finished finished the test on host specifically host and time 37 47 the time duration also will be mentioned okay now it's completed the test Okay, you can go to the in your e folder okay you can see the file will be generated remote load remote load testing dot jtl this is only i'm given the jtl file used to uh, you can generate the html report for any time no need to run every time you need to load test and you need to get the report not required now you re generated right remote underscore load testing dot jtl file this jtl file user to you need to generate the your html report okay that is first one and uh, second one you can go to html report it's already generated right just you can open it okay now you need to see this is the final test report remote load testing dot will be provided and you can see just fail ratio 0.01 percent pass ratio 99.99 percent it's uh, it's pass it's not considered this percentage also this is network issue it's not for application of server side you can see 5 seconds and 1.5 seconds right it's also acceptable this one also okay this is the final report okay all the final report transactions entire full report error percentage is only 3 that is it's not considered as the final server error internal server error our side issue okay internal server means this is the local application right that reason this is not an issue yeah, this is the way you need to run and set up to the all the configurations and you need to perform to the successfully for remote distributed testing okay maybe guys now you understand for you get minimum knowledge how you need to do the uh, jmeter distributed remote load testing okay that is only our topic right okay 
Our topic is how to perform Apache JMeter non-GUI mode distributed load testing or remote load testing. Now it's completed. Okay. You have any doubts related uh, to this testing point of view? Otherwise, your experience you will face any issues. Uh, please comment me. Otherwise, I will miss it out any points. That points also can you please mention to the comment section? I will cover to the my next video. Yeah. That, that's all guys this video. I will connect to the my next video. Thanks for everyone. Bye